Some students were getting confused about when they're supposed to use the keep change change method. So I just wanted to explain that it is possible for you to use the keep change change method to change subtraction to addition. You can also change addition to subtraction. Let me show you. So we can keep change change to change subtraction to addition. You could also go backwards and say, all right, well, I want to change this addition to subtraction. So you could keep the five, change the addition to subtraction, and then change the negative 11 to a positive 11. And look, we ended up back where we had started. Take a look at one more example. I could keep the negative one, change this to addition, change this to addition, and I would end up with negative one plus three. So I change this to addition, this to a positive three. Now, that brought me to writing this as an addition problem. But I could also use keep, change, change to go, to go backwards and change it back to subtraction. So I keep the negative one, I change the addition to subtraction, and I change the positive three to a negative three. And look, I'm back to where I had started. Now, all that being said, it is not normal for people to use keep change change to change from addition to subtraction. Keep change change is normally taught in math classes to change subtraction to addition. And the reason is that subtraction can be confusing. Look at this subtraction problem. We are taking away negativity. On a number line, that can be confusing. We are basically doing the opposite of going down three. So we would be actually moving upwards three. And the answer would be positive two. So since subtraction can be confusing, the keep change change method was introduced to change subtraction to addition. So the keep change change method is used for this. So when you see subtraction, I would like you to change the subtraction to addition because it's easier for us to add with negative numbers and positive numbers than it is to subtract with negative and positive numbers.